So today we are going on a little bit of a road trip. I am leaving the MTB crib and I'm headed about two hours or so east to fish with a subscriber. Someone I've never met, they emailed me and uh, have some pretty fire spots to fish. I'm gonna stay, I think, I believe like two to three days down here, so it should be fun. Um, hopefully the fishing is as good as he says. We also might be doing a little bit of hunting, but I started up a new email for basically this this reason in particular. The new email is go fishing with flare at gmail.com. So I usually had you guys just email me my normal business email if you guys had any cool spots you want me to go fish with you. But I wanted to keep everything separate, so I set up an entire new email. So if you guys have any good spots, um, preferably obviously around Texas, maybe Kansas, Nebraska, anywhere in that area that I'm in generally, let me know. I mean, if you guys are not even in the United States and you've got a fire spot in, I don't even know, Japan, Cuba, something like that, just send me an email. And all I ask is that you just title, sorry, not title, all I ask is that you that you subject the email the location. So be like Dallas Fire Ponds or Hong Kong Fire Ponds or whatever it is. That way I can kind of keep track of the records. And if I want to go to Hong Kong that weekend, then I go and I look and go through my emails and find someone that's in Hong Kong, if that makes any sense. Anyways, I'm going to start driving. Got a two-hour drive. It's noon. We're going to get there at 2. Hopefully be fishing by 2.30. Hopefully going to catch a big fish. All right, guys, I am out here with, all right, I, I already forgot all your guys' names. Brent? Lane. Lane? And Jake. Jake. I'm gonna forget that in about four seconds, but that's that's who I'm with today. Some subscribers were in somewhere in Texas, is about all, all I know. They dropped a pin, I drove down some country roads, feared for my life for about three seconds, and then saw the boat and we're good to go. So we're fishing a lake that I've never been to. Is it fire? Is it oh, a, absolutely. It, it's a fire lake. Absolutely. Okay. So according to them, it's gonna be a fire lake. It looks it looks dirty and like not that kind of dirty, just like the, the water's kind of dirty and there's uh, some sticks and stuff. So I'm thinking it's gonna be kind of a flipping deal. And you said top water tonight. I haven't caught a top water fish in like, feels like years. So that's gonna be kind of interesting. I don't know, I'm gonna start off with some type of flipping bait more than likely and see if we can catch some fish. There's one. Oh, he came off. That was a good one. Yeah, that was that was probably a three pounder. I missed one. Confirm there's fish in this lake. Just need to actually catch them. Dude, I had a flake tie There's one. First fish. I was swimming that thing back. Oh wow. Okay. This guy they're likes. Like tarpon, <laughs> they're like tarpon. <laughs> Got a tarpon bass on, guys. Seriously though. Look at him. Yeah, this not. Put him in the whale. Get best off. Yeah, we can do it. There we go. That's my first one. I was. Uh, I actually pitched shallow and was trying something different and kind of swimming this back, almost like a swim jig. And one actually, one actually ate it. It's not a bad fish. We're gonna toss this new little dude in the box. I'm hoping for our best five we can cull this dude out, but for now we're gonna toss him in there. You shouldn't have listened to me. There's one. Flying fish. Oh, come on, son. <laughs> oh, okay, explain to me how that happens. I take him from like over there to here. That's like 10 feet in the air and it still comes off. He jumps a foot. How? Oh, he's got it. That's a good one. Whoop! <laughs> I wasn't about to risk that boy jumping off. I just had to launch, launch him up there. All right, I'm not playing around anymore. You guys see me lose too many fish. I'm not playing around. That's that's actually a pretty good one. Are you serious? On a chatterbait? Chatterbait. That's the first first chatterbait fish right there. That's a good one. He's decent. That's a good fish. All right, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna rig up a jig, get some get some braid, heavy rod I have, and see if I can. I haven't caught a jig fish in a long time. That's pretty much the only reason why I'm doing it. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. Oh, get him! Get him! Yeah, that's a good one. Yes, son. That was a good. One. I saw your rod, dude. Your rod went boom. <laughs> that was awesome. That's a good fish. Oh wait, you caught a fish? No. Oh, 
Oh, he's going deep. Is it a big one? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. There you go. Oh, is it, it come off? Yes. It, it grab, it, it. grab it, grab it, grab <laughs> it. There you go. You got your first. <laughs> How does that feel? So much better. Feel pretty good? Oh, yeah. That's, oh, a, good no. one. that's a big one. That's a big one. Jig fish. Yeah, look at the look at the spots on it. Jig them. fish on the dam, son. That's that's the best one of the day by far. Little spots on there. We're trying to get five of them. Yeah, yeah we need five of them. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, that's not a bad one. Yeah, that's a that's a good one. Take that. There's a fish. Chatterbait. I don't know how big it is. That's, oh, that's a good one. You got, we got one? Yep. Oh, we got doubles. We got doubles. There's a good one. Look at that. Check that out. Yes, sir. Some doubles. That's off the, did you throw out that lay down? Or you over uh, to the right side? Out in the middle of that little cook. There you go. We got so, two fish. That's my first chatterbait fish. So, what'd, what'd you catch that one on? A jig? So, we caught them on jigs, bladed jigs. But uh, I threw a soft plastic. So, so far, not about it. How many do you think we've caught in total? Probably a dozen? At least 12 or 13. At least 12 or 13. And the biggest one, the biggest one's probably that, that one you had on the dock. Yeah. Bro. How big do you think that one was for? At least four. Did you just catch one? Oh, here we go. You guys just saw some live action there. A little squeak, squeak McGee. It's a flare fish. That's the smallest one so far. All right, we're going to get back to fishing. I'm going to keep, uh, keep throwing that chatterbait, doing a little bit of, a little bit of flipping. And then if the sun ever decides to go down, we may we may end up throwing some top water. Oh, I'm screwed. He's still there. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Hold up. Come on, fish. Oh, this just sounds great. Oh my god. If you can get him, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Yes, sir. Oh, I got my jig off. Oh, he's still there. That's what happens when you cast a jig past a tree. Come on, get off there. Get off there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. I'm still throwing 50 pounds, darling. There we go. Get up here, son. That's a good one. God dang. You guys are watching this. Look at, okay, first off, look how he ate that jig. All right, I'm going to stick to the jig now. That's nuts. You guys are wondering why I throw 65 pound braid. That's, that's why. Right that's there. why you guys, like for all of you guys watching, you probably heard that just nasty sound that was coming from the rod. I cast into that little brush pile there, and it swam under the tree, and I had to get him out. I don't think this one's gonna help. There you go. That's that's the biggest one I've caught so far. So? Definitely. This one will help. That's just Ooh! There you go. Yeah, he's spicy. That, oh, that's a good one. All right, get, here we go. Yep. Ooh, Dang, son. That that's a big one. I'm just gonna up. throw mine back before we get on. Thing. You double? Look at that. Is that a chatterbait fish? Chatterbait yep. swimbait fish. Let's see that. Let's see the uh, the lure you had there. Swimbait on a chatterbait. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've never done that, but hey. Look at the shoulders on it. God dang, that's a good one. I'm oh, he did do it. What? I've never been to the lake with you. Me in front of that badass sunset. Yep, there it is. Oh, there's one there. Oh, yeah. oh little guy. Little jig fish. It's an awesome dang fish. It's not going to help the uh, the old sack, but it's a nice little squeak, squeak McGee. Why are they so feisty today? They are feisty. I thought it was a block. I thought it was a monk. Woo! Little guy. He ain't gonna help us any. Oh, we got doubles. That's like the fourth or fifth double. That is. Yeah, they see a little lipstick they got going on there? I don't know what. This, this little guy, little girl, can't, can't say the gender. I don't know what they're thinking, but they like the black lipstick here. So I guess it's a Texas thing. No. Did you have one? Yeah. I'm not sure what happened. Oh, oh good lord, son. That was an accidental hook set right there. I was trying to snap it away from the brush. 
looks like a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, it is. I'll send you a line coming shooting out of Yeah. Oh, God dang. That was bigger than I thought. Yes, sir. That's probably the stupidest looking hook set I've ever done in my entire life. I was trying to snap it free of vegetation and dude munch that's might be the biggest one I have so far. That's a big fish. We're gonna fish some top water but first we're gonna take some pictures with these mondos. We're gonna let them go. We don't want to keep them in the live all too long. Go, we're gonna open it up. Yeah we're gonna put them in the bag. We're gonna get some quick pictures, release them and then get some top water fish. 19, 12. Okay. Oh. All right, we're way off. It went to 20, and then 20 pounds, four ounces, and it came back down. 19 pounds, 12 ounces. Right, that's yeah. it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good day on the water, I'd say. Not bad. Let's get some uh, pictures, release them. Always catch and release. And then we're going to go catch some topwater fish. That's okay. There you go. Yes, Woo! Let's go, boy. No, nah, it's a, it's, a, it's a, yeah, it's about an eight pounder, seven pounder, six pounder. It's getting smaller. Three pounder, two pounder, and a one pounder. We're, we're working on it. Oh, oh, we got him. Oh, we got him. Look at that. We got some live. Oh, he's stuck. He's stuck. He come out. He come out. Oh God, it's heating up. Oh, that's a good one. Oh God, dang, son. All right, this is why I gotta put the foe down here in a second. That's a good fish, All right? You're gonna boat flip. You gotta boat flip this fish here. Watch this. You guys, you guys ready? Woo! There you go. That's a good fish. I also caught a good one. Hey, we got a tree pounder over here and uh, a two and a half pounder over here. There you go. That's a good fish. Oh. Mm. Remember, it gets too shallow. Oh, yeah. oh God. There's a good one. Woo! Come on, baby. That's not a giant. I got excited. There we go. That's. I was just saying how uh, it was getting slow. Got a little little salad. Little salad with his frog dinner. Water target cupped up. Just hauling ass and just did it like this. Yes, sir. Is it a good Get one? out of there, boy. Get out of there, boy. It is a good That's one. a good one. There we go. Got it. it <laughs> That's a good fish. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Choke. Choke the frog. There we go. That's. Look at that black spot on them. That's, that's kind of, I've never seen that many fish that actually have these black spots. I've heard about it, haven't actually seen them. It's a pretty, pretty decent little largemouth caught there on the topwater frog. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna say goodbye to Jimmy here. See, you, buddy. Jimmy go. Here's a quick tip. Um, I would not recommend doing this because good chance you can break a rod. But if you don't really care if you break your rod and you want to try to get your lure out, uh, this is a good way to do it. Texas you would take. Yep. Yep. Did it work? Yeah. It worked, didn't it? Okay, so his reel's right there. You take your rod off, you tighten the line, and you throw your rod down there. And it comes back like this. See, again, it's a good way to bust a rod, but it's also a good way to get your lure back in a pretty pretty easy way. Just giving you guys tips here. I like to fill my videos with tips. Remember All right, we're, we're about ready to end the day. It's getting pretty dark. Bugs are getting kind of nasty. Yeah, it was a good day on the water. We're gonna kind of work our way back to the boat ramp and then uh, call it a day and go fishing tomorrow. Last fish. Whoop. Yep, that's it. We're gonna end on that little little frogtastic fish there. Look at his mouth. Gone, baby. Gone.